So I'm Becky Freeman from Marlins Primary School in Huddersfield and I'm the deputy head teacher and an art lead as well and we took part in the fashion fiction um, activity with the whole school which is um, 630 children and about 80 adults. So we decided to get involved in fashion fictions because we heard about it from another project we were taking part with called Weaving Together a Story of Place which was an art project to get children into textiles and we just thought it'd be an ideal opportunity to get the children more understanding about the impact of, of fashion and whilst using textiles as well. So I started off by looking through all the fantastic worlds on the Fashion Fiction website and we found a perfect world that which was World 127. We took World 27, we developed it a little bit further and we decided that the um, the rather than just doing the World 27 where, ch where people were fixing umbrellas and creating new ones, we would fix umbrellas and create new ones to celebrate something which was the King's coronation. And that's kind of where the, the idea took off. Um, it happened over um, several meetings to start off with, with, with the staff in school to develop the ideas. And we kind of worked on stage two to develop our ideas so it would work with our children because our children are age four to 11. And, and from that, the idea, the idea evolved um, and to it, in order to get to the enactment stage. So what we did was um, we told the children all about the fashion industry and about um, how we need to recycle things. A lot of our children are very into kind of recycling, but perhaps didn't know the impact the fashion industry has um, on, on the world. And we talked about the things that King Charles is passionate about because it linked nicely to his his passions about recycling and about the environment. And the children came up with some fantastic designs for their umbrellas. So year three put a science topic about um, plants and growing things and pollination. So they linked their umbrella to that because Prince Charles, you know, loves growing things, he's got high growth, so the children made those links and their umbrella was a fantastic celebration of plants and, and insects and bees and all sorts. So year six's um, umbrellas that they made were about the seas. Their topic had been about pollution in the seas, so some of their umbrellas were half good seas, half bad seas, and they, they understand that the link between them Prince Charles really I think, talking to people about the environment and their umbrellas, it, it worked really well. Over a period of three weeks, which was quite a short space of time for us, um, the children in each class came off timetable for a period of time. Some, some were a few afternoons, some were quite a lot longer. And they worked with local artists and, and the staff in school. And we developed these amazing umbrellas to celebrate the coronation, um, kind of upcycling these umbrellas. The local community were fantastic. We put shout outs for all sorts of recycled materials to do the, the um, en enactment with um, and umbrellas. We've, we had links with um, the local charity shops who were busy collecting lots of umbrellas for us. And it all came together on the 5th of May, the day before the King's coronation and the children en masse went outside, so all 630 of them with all our staff. We took part in a huge celebration and paraded around the playground, spinning our umbrellas and making lots of noise in a carnival style atmosphere. So running the activity was great fun. It was challenging at times, trying to sell the ideas to staff, some of them who weren't as confident as others. But the way we linked it to our curriculum really worked as well. And we provided all the materials that the, that the um, staff needed, that really helped. And then we had some artists on hand to help to, to construct and give the staff more confidence. There was quite a short time frame, which was difficult at times, um, but it was a non-movable date that we had to work towards for this reenactment. Um, so the buzz around school was fantastic, the build up to the project was brilliant and the actual enactment as well was just magical. So I think there were many things that the uh, pupils took away from the activities. They were able to work from an initial idea and develop it and learn new skills, find amazing ways of turning old and unwanted things into something amazing which was a key part of it. They worked collaboratively. They were really proud of their contributions. They were so, when I went around school, they wanted to show me what they'd done, which bit of the umbrella was theirs. 
and they were really interested how how it kind of went off in different directions and the creations that the different year groups um, made as well for instance year six they were doing a topic on um, the seas and pollution so they kind of really turned theirs into an environmental protest uh, which was just fantastic so make sure everybody involved has the why of the project share your vision really clearly praise everyone for taking part give them the resources and the ideas for creativity in bucket loads and just make sure that everybody has plenty of time and lots of fun doing it we wouldn't run the same activity again but we'd certainly look at using another one of the worlds for a different enactment because the children had such a good time and got such a lot out of it